Fusion energy is going to be a big topic being discussed across the United States and on Capitol Hill in the future after scientists in California made a breakthrough in an experiment where a fusion reaction released more energy than went into it. And joining us now to talk more about this, Paul Pancella, a professor working at Western Michigan University's Department of Physics. Thank you for joining us. Well, we listened to the scientists explain their discovery yesterday, but how can you describe the development in simple terms? It sounds pretty exciting. Oh, sure. Uh, because of the way nuclear physics works and because mass is a form of energy, if you can fuse light nuclei together to form slightly heavier ones, some of that mass turns into energy. And uh, since E equals mc squared, a relatively small amount of energy can give you a relatively large amount, a relatively small amount of mass, excuse me, can give you a large amount of energy, relatively large amount of energy. It requires tremendous pressure and high temperatures to happen, uh, but it routinely happens at the core of stars, and that's the, the same effect that powers our sun. Yeah, very interesting. Can you tell us how nuclear fusion differs from the more commonly known nuclear fission? Yes, uh, it's an oddity. It's, it's just the way uh, the nuclear force works. The, the most tightly bound nuclei are kind of in the middle size range around iron. Nuclei come in all sizes from very small to relatively large. And uh, so that means that the, the nuclei in the middle size range have the least uh, mass per constituent nucleon. So if you can get energy by fusing small nuclei into larger ones, or you can get energy by breaking large nuclei into smaller pieces. Fission splits large nuclei into smaller ones, and so also turns mass into energy. Are there any major dangers or concerns with fusion energy? Not really. Uh, it's so difficult to get fusion to go that uh, it, it can't run away. There's no chain reaction like there is for fission. So if, you, if, you, if anything went wrong, it would just stop. But the reality of fusion as a source of energy is st still quite a ways off. Why is that? that is, that's definitely true. It's, it's very difficult. It took, it took decades to get this far of, of intense effort uh, by many, many people. And the, the, while more energy was generated than was put in through these huge lasers, uh, it's still a relatively small amount of energy per shot, per experiment. And the experiment takes place in a facility the size of a small sports arena, requires precision work from a, a large team of researchers, and they can do about one shot per day and uh, in order uh, that it's nowhere near being practical, taking that, that energy, even, even that small amount of energy, it's a whole nother step in trying to make electricity out of it, but it's not even worth that at this point with that small amount of energy. Well, it'll be interesting to see where this goes, and of course, we will follow it. Paul Pancella from Western Michigan University, Department of Physics, thank you for joining us. You're welcome.